Hello people, so today I will talk about Rubik's Cube and I will separate it into 5 parts. First, Rubik's Cube is a 3D combination puzzle invented in 1974 by a Hungarian sculptor and professor of architecture named Eino Rubik and was originally called the Magic Cube. Additionally, it is widely considered to be the world's best-selling toy. It also won a German Game of the Year special award and won similar awards for best toy in the UK, France, and the US. Second, the total number of positions for the Rubik's Cube can be calculated by looking into three important parts of the cube. So we have center position part, we have corner position part, and also we have edge position part. In each part, they will have their own number of positions. But in short, when we already find the number of positions in each part, we can multiply all the result and we will have the total of 43 quintillion positions of 3 times 3 times 3 cube. To be exact, 43 quintillion is equal to 43252003274489856000. What a huge number. Third, I will talk about the variations of the cube. A variety of modified cubes have been designed to expand the cube family after the Rubik's Cube was invented. Generally, the Magic Cube can be divided into two categories. So, we have Cubic Cube and also we have Specially Shaped Cube. A Cubic Cube refers to a cube in a box structure that is not changed, but the cube's order increases. There are different variations of cubic cubes with up to 33 layers. For example, we have 2 times 2 times 2 cube, which is called as mini pocket cube. We also have standard cube, 3 times 3 times 3. We also have um, Rubik's Revenge or Master Cube, 4 times 4 times 4 cube. And we also have 5 um, times time 5 times 5 cube also called as professor's cube the next category of cube is specially shaped cube which refers to the cube family besides cubic cube fourth i will talk about speed cubing speed cubing is a sport involving solving a variety of combinations or twisty puzzle the most famous being three times three times three puzzle or Rubik's Cube as quickly as possible. Speed cubing is the fastest solving of the Rubik's Cube that you will ever see. Speed cubers can solve the Rubik's Cube in lightning speed. Did you know that the World's Cube Association WCA Rubik's Cube World Championship are held every two years with thousands of competitors traveling to rest from all over the globe. People across the world practice speed cubing with one goal in common, to set the ultimate speed cube time. And yeah, finally, I will talk about the world's record for the fastest solve of the Rubik's Cube. The current record held for the fastest solve of the Rubik's Cube is currently 3.74 by Yu Sheng Du, who beat the record of Felix Zemdix by 0.75 seconds. A robot, however, has solved the Rubik's Cube this year in an incredible 0.38 seconds. Who oh, can you just imagine how fast it is? Mathematicians love Rubik's Cube. They are amazed at how such a seemingly simple puzzle can have so many secrets there. And yeah, 
the world has wait for almost three decades uh, which from 1980 to 2010 and finally a group of academics engineers and math kids has discovered the number that can explain life universe and literally everything and that number is called as god's number and or usually people call it as god's algorithm and yeah as many cube enthusiasts will already know god's number is the maximum number of moves required to solve any of 43 quintillion combinations of the cube and that number is proven to be 20. Yeah, you might be wondering about why it is called as God's number. No worries because yeah, I was thinking about it too when I first hear about this thing. And the term of God's number was derived from the fact that if God was solving the cube, he or she would do it in the most efficient way possible. And also, it was coined because um, the mind of human being able to find the shortest sequence of move to solve any scramble sequence of the cube which thousands of times more powerful than our own it also able to solve or find more than millions of different combinations of the cube uh, in the blink of an eye, which the mathematicians or even ourselves believe it could uh, it could only be done. God's number. God's number refers to the fewest number of moves that can help us solve the Rubik's puzzle. Its historical development began back in 1981 when a man named Moen Theaswell proved using a complex algorithm he devised himself that 52 moves was enough to solve any of the 43 quintillion different combinations. This number began to fall slowly as better and more efficient methods were devised for solving the huge number of possible combinations in the fewest moves possible. Next we are going to talk about the lower bond and the upper bond. For the lower bond, it can be proven by counting arguments that they exist positions needing at least 18 moves to solve. To show this, first count the number of cube positions that exist in total, then count the number of positions achievable using at most 17 moves. Starting from a solved cube, it turns out that the latter number is smaller. For the upper bound, the first upper bounds were based on human algorithms by combining the worst case scenarios for each part of these algorithms. The typical upper bound was found to be around 100. The Fewest Moves Challenge, abbreviated as FMC, is an event where competitors attempt to solve a puzzle, the most popular one being the linear Fewest Moves event. And finally, the computer program that can help us solve this is called the Cube Explorer program by a German mathematician, Hubbard Kitchenberg. It's is able to find the optimal solution in 20 steps using half the time metric. And yeah, that's all for my videos today. Thank you for watching.